Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a basic new item. So, um, when I'm creating a mod and I'm adding items, I like to create a new package um, inside of our mod.common fold package um, and I'm going to call this items. Items with an S. Um, for those of you who have seen my block tutorials, this is pretty much the same thing I like to do with the block tutorials or with the blocks, um, but this just provides a nice organization. It's not required. You could put it all inside of your common folder if you, or common package if you wanted to, or you could separate it um, in different ways. Now to create the actual item, we're going to create a new class, and I'll call this, uh, say, item tutorial, just item tutorial. Um, and we're going to make this class extend item. Now we need to import item and make sure that you're importing net.minecraft.item instead of any other ones that you may have. Um, and now you'll see that it's going to give us an error because we need to add a constructor. Just go ahead and add the constructor. Um, for an item, or at least for this item, it's going to be public um, item tutorial. And we're going to have a single parameter and that'll be int id. And then we're going to say super ID. Now that's actually it to create the basic item, um, but we're going to add a couple more parameters. I'm going to say this dot. Um, and now we can add parameters to the item, much like adding parameters to a block. So we can say this dot set or dot set max stack size. Um, if you wanted to set the maximum stack size of the item, uh, if we were to set this to 16, then you would have a maximum of 16 items um, in a stack, just like eggs. I'm going to set this to 64, uh, actually 16 for the sake of demonstration. Um, we can say this dot set creative tab, just like with a block, and we'll say creative tabs dot tab dot tab material with an S and we need to import creative tabs. Um, and there are several other parameters you can set. You can look through these. Some of them require a bit of explanation but there's pretty good documentation on the parameters. Um, some of them I will cover in later tutorials. Now to actually register our item we're going to need to do a few things in our main mod class. The first thing is we're going to create a new variable and that'll be public static item and we'll call this um, item tutorial. And we need to import item, make sure it's from net.minecraft.item. And then inside of our load method we're going to say item tutorial equals new item tutori tutorial. And we're going to give it an ID of, let's say, 4,000. And you need to import item tutorial um, because it's in a different package. Now, to actually register our item, um, for those of you who have worked with blocks, you know that to register a block, you have to register it with the game registry and the language registry. For an item, all you have to do is um, do the language registry. So right underneath we can say language registry dot add name and we'll say item tutorial and the name will be tutorial item. Uh, one more thing I forgot is after item tutorial we're just going to say dot set unlocalized name and it'll be item tutorial. Uh, this becomes more important later on. So if we go ahead and run the game, then if we go into single player, new world, um, yeah, I want to load anyway. Um, you'll see that if I open up uh, the materials tab, we have a new item right here. Um, it doesn't have a texture because we haven't added one, 
But if we get an entire stack of it, you'll see, actually you might not be able to see, um, you can only have a set, it gives you a stack of 16, and I can't combine these two stacks. Um, so that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Um, in part two of the item tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to actually add a new texture to the item. So thank you for watching. Source code is in the description as usual, and I'll see you next time.